we are then, back out and training. Actually still around here. Yeah, Welcome Hills near Stratford. So doing a bit of hilly training, two to three hours I think of undulating. Well, close to three hours would be best. Undulating, see how my see how my feet are holding up because I took some skin off a couple of weeks ago. Um, and a brief bit about the challenge I'm taking on. So January 2023, I'm taking on Fan Dance Trident, which basically is Fan Dance uh, route. It's 15 miles, goes from one valley over the top of Penavan, down into the valley on the opposite side, turn around, come back in. So 15, 15 miles, about a thousand meters of climbing. That is the route I'll be doing on Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Uh, never done the fan dance before. I've been up those mountains, but I've never done the specific route and I've never done it as a challenge with, with weight on my back like this, that's for sure. Um, so Saturday morning, Sunday morning fan dance, and on Saturday night, I'm gonna be doing a circular route. Uh, again, corporates, Penavan. It's about uh, 12 miles, I think it is. Morning. It's about 12 miles, that one. Um, it's possibly a tiny bit easier, just from the point of view of slightly less miles, but it will be at night time. So, head torch on, same weight, 35 pounds, plus water, plus food. Um, and with the amount of water you have to take mandatory, 35 pounds is probably a lot close to 45 pounds in total when you get going. Little breather, bit of a hill that. Um, <laughs> So that's it really, three changes within 24 hours. And that's what I'm taking on. So just to go backwards a little bit, my own experience of this sort of thing is, I took on some tabbing challenges last year um, during COVID, um, which I did all right at. But that's the first time I've ever really tabbed. Before then I've just been doing sort of longer distance running, ultra running. Um, that type of thing, which is great for fitness, but it's a whole different ball game. Running in boots, heavy bergen on, makes a huge difference. And when I started training, so I've done no, no tapping, I suppose, then, since last year, really, or very little, should I say. Did the ultra marathon this year in June, which was basically all just running without weight on, because I was a bit worried about getting injured. And eight weeks ago, I started doing training again with a Bergen on and um, went back down the gym as well. And the gym's making a massive difference, I think, because this Bergen I've got now was probably about 40 pounds. And um, I tried to run with it about six weeks ago. I could barely, bloody move with the thing. So it's amazing how quickly it all comes sort of back together. But yeah, that is the challenge anyway. Fan Dance Trident, three, Three fan dance routes in 24 hours effectively, or just over 24 hours. Um, majority of people just do pick one of the events, I suppose, but I like to make things difficult for myself. And um, it's going to be extra difficult because it's in winter, January. Anyone knows Wales and Brecon Beacons at that time of year. It's going to be snow, it's going to be icy. It's going to be some tricky conditions. So things to learn, things to think about there. Like taking mini crampons. Sure we've got plenty of gloves and hats and things because it's going to be potentially very cold, very snowy, very wet and uh, potentially a little, I suppose, a little bit dangerous in a way but they've got great safety crew on these events so not too too worried about that. But yeah, we're getting very hot and very cold and very hot and very cold so you just have to be prepared for that side of things. You know, putting layers on, taking layers off psychological effects of it especially after doing you know especially by the third one I'm sure I'll be absolutely cream cracking before I even start that one <coughs> but yeah so far so good training is going alright eight weeks in like I said strength's coming on nicely in the gym the Bergen's just going well today really I'm doing mostly going to be walking a little bit of jogging and quite undulating so it's really it's just an endurancey type of a, a walk today rather than really smashing it and really running and killing my legs. So just build up the endurance. The speed will come, 
the power will come. I mean, I have to smash where up the hills will come in time, but take it slow and steady to get fit. I've still got another few months to go before I have to sort of peak, so to speak. If I'm sure I've ever peaked in my life, but if you can peak, <laughs> then that's what I need to do it for. Right, anyway, hope everyone's doing well. Just keep smashing out your training, keep enjoying it, get outside, clear your head, make your body strong, keep fit, keep healthy. See you guys later.